What's going on, gentlemen? Decided to take a quick little, just a four mile little rucks, ruck walk today, Sunday. We're expecting a, a big old snowstorm here overnight and then into Tuesday. So I was like, oh, I need to get some cardio out of the way before I freaking get snowed in. We're walking on one of my old routes that I used to walk when I was training for RASP. I'm getting ready for, for the Army, really, more so than RASP. But wanted to talk quick about a question someone asked in the Q&A we shot last week. And it was about leadership, you know. And I could go, and I'm probably going to make a longer video about it, but the one thing that you need to have as a leader is the ability to not only meet the standard, but exceed the standard, as well as, and this is the, this is the main part of it that I want to talk about, is you can't ask anyone to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. So when you show up as a private in Ranger Battalion, like you're getting, you're getting fucked down, you're doing push-ups, you're getting told to carry the heavy shit, right? And you're thinking, well, why doesn't the team leader do this? Why doesn't, you know, why doesn't one of the tabs do this? Why, why aren't they carrying the litter? It's because they've already done it. And they're asking you to do it because they've already done it. And that gives them the authority to do so. Now, if they had grown up in another unit or, or you know, didn't grow up as a ranger private and didn't spend the time initially in their career doing those things, that I think that they would be out of line making you do that. Now, this obviously extrapolates out into everything. You know, we're talking like actual combat, like your, your leader isn't gonna ask you to go and assault an objective or assault a bunker or, or seize a piece of key terrain without either A, going himself, being a part of it, or B, being willing to do that or having done it in the past already. And you know, this, this extrapolates out across not just the not just the army, but in life in general. Like, if you're a, a parent, right, and you're asking your kid to do something, it's because you probably, or telling him rather, it's probably because you either have direct experience in that and know that that's what's best for the kid, and are able to articulate that. Don't get that twisted with needing to always explain things to your subordinates because. Sometimes you don't got time, like, hey, I need you to do this right now. You don't have time to sit and explain why it's going to be beneficial for them or why they need to do it, right? So just wanted to just shoot this quick video talking about that aspect of leadership. Like, as a leader, you can't ask anyone you're not willing to, to get up and go do yourself. You know, as a leader, you got to delegate. you got to delegate tasks. And that's how the whole, the whole machine works, right, is the leader can't do everything. And he's asking you to do something because it's going to affect the rest of the, the mission, whatever you're trying to accomplish, right? All right, kind of, kind of a busy road here, but you get, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say, right? Like as a leader, if you're not willing to do it yourself, you probably shouldn't be asking you guys to do it. So that's it. I'm going to finish this ruck. Just a quick little four mile, like I said, just gonna take it walking, but keep it under that, you know, that 15 minute mile pace. It's been a minute since I've rocked. So just kind of easing back into it. But I'll catch y'all on Tuesday with our podcast.